guys, so we're gonna dive in and check out my perspective drawing resource so you can get a better understanding of what is included in the resource. It is one of those essential resources for an art classroom because it's gonna take you through all the different ways to create perspective drawings and just really provide all of those templates that are just beautifully uh, created with visuals to show kids how to create perspective drawings. And I know that's hard to find, so I got you, my friend. We're gonna dive on in. I'm gonna show you just some of the pages in a binder so you can see what they would look like, um, print it off, and then I'm also gonna show you a screen scroll uh, video, sorry, screen recording of the resource of every single page that's included so you know exactly what you're gonna get so you have a very, very good understanding of all the pages that are included in this essential resource that will be perfect for teaching perspective with your students. So let's dive on in and check it out. All right, so we're just gonna take a look at just some of the pages in this resource. I love it now. Uh, so the first one is what is perspective? So it just goes over what perspective is, including both linear perspective, uh, it goes over what a vanishing point is, the horizon line, orthogonal lines, talks all about those lovely details. It also goes into the history of perspective drawing. So talking about the Renaissance, Renaissance and how artists were interested in making two-dimensional work appear three-dimensional. So they set out on a journey to bring science and math into art making to discover a solution, uh, which was of course perspective art. So. You can see the difference and show the students. It comes with um, a step-by-step -step how to do one point perspective cubes uh, and then goes into, um, also provides a page for them to create their own one point perspective cube drawing. It gives a, a handout for how to create a one point perspective landscape so they can create, see all the step-by-steps for the one-point perspective landscape. It gives a blank page for that, but of course you can use this. Um, all these pages can be used as handouts to show them how to do something. You can use the pages that come behind them. They're not in this preview because it's just mostly a blank page with the title and everything. Um, but you can use any size paper for this. So you can give them cardstock and they can use paint to paint it in. It gives you a lot of flexibility. Um, again, one point perspective landscape. You can give them much larger paper if you want. Have them do it on 11 by 17 for a very big artwork. Or they can do it in their sketchbooks this way. And then glue this on the opposing page, whatever you want. Uh, but it's very detailed and gives every single step for how to create that uh, one point perspective landscape. It also gives a two point perspective um, landscape step by step as well all included. Again, it also comes with a blank page for them to create on, or you can again use it on your choice of art paper in your sketchbook, wherever you would like. It also provides a uh, lovely, um, just different handouts. Again, this is just a sample of some of the pages that are included, but this one provides um, an inquiry. So thinking about, they can go on an adventure either in books or online, search up when and where did perspective drawing start, historical artists using perspective drawing in their famous artworks. They can sketch a painting that they found that has linear perspective and then talk about in what century it was painted and where they paint or what they drew. Um, and then they have an art project to do. So there will be uh, art project research. So they get to pick a theme of what they wanna do and then create their own art project that uses linear perspective and it gives lots of different ideas for that. They can brainstorm some ideas around the theme for a world that they might create. They can glue in reference images, so if they find images online or maybe in magazines or they want to doodle, whatever, they can add that all here. They have a rough draft page, so they can create their rough draft of something that may look like and also get you to approve it before they go ahead and create it. And then there's a bunch of pages for different reflections, um, student handouts for peer review and a rubric. And, and now we're gonna just dive on in and take a look at every single page that is included with this perspective unit.
gave you a great understanding of what is to be included when you get this resource. So you can get this resource in two ways. One way is by heading on down into the, that was a stool that I kicked, in the description of this video and find the link to my Teachers Pay Teacher Store. It's a direct link to that resource so you can grab it. Um, and implement it into your art teaching program in your classroom. Or if you are a member of the Artastic Collective, which is my membership for art teachers, this will be coming out in your essentials bundle in themes near the beginning of your monthly bundle adventure. So again, Artastic Collective provides new monthly bundles. So every month, new bundles will be added to your art resource library, having it grow and grow for two solid years. Oh yeah, giving you hundreds of our resources to choose from. So make sure you grab that, jump on that wait list if you're interested, if you are a full-time art teacher. The link for that is also in the description of this video. Otherwise, if you want to grab this perspective drawing resource, you can grab it right now. Click that link in the description of this video and take a little travel through art, space, and time to my teachers, Teachers Bay Teacher Store, Ms. Arcastic. And I hope this helps. So let's make some art.